Hey Kid Town family, I want to thank each and every single one of you for joining us today for our Kid Town show. And Kid Town Nation presents to you, well, I guess you'll just have to watch and see for yourself. I'm your host, Jesse. I hope you are enjoying this wonderful Sunday and are excited to watch and see where we are going today. And hello, everyone. I am your co-host, Justin. We are on week three of our series, On an Adventure. Are you guys ready? That's great, because I can't wait to see where we are headed. Last week was so much fun. We went on an adventure to find this huge tower called the Tower of Babel. From last week's show, I could see that you all enjoyed making your own version of a tower. Here is one that I thought looked pretty awesome. What do you guys think? I think Jake, Emma, and Max did an amazing job. It really was. And it was amazing seeing all the towers we saw built by our own Kid Town family. You guys rock. Now Jesse and I are so excited to see where we are going today. So please, tell us. Well today, if I am looking at this map correctly, we are really close to find Abraham. So I believe we're on an adventure to Sodom and Gomorrah. But before we go, we have a story we want to show you all. Well, why are we still sitting here? Let's go now, before it's too late, and we have to continue relying on this map. The less we have to look at this map, the better it will be for all of us. <laughs> oh, okay, but hold on, Justin. We have to kind of be behind the scenes today and let God do what he does best. So before we continue, let's all stand up to our feet and worship Jesus. But wait, we have to act, Jesse. We have to get in on this story. Justin, I promise we will, but sometimes it's best to have wisdom and wait on God's timing before we do something that could get us hurt. We will know when it's the right time to move and find Abraham's family. Okay, so you were saying we have to trust God fully on this adventure and let God work before us so that it is safe for us? and for him to keep us out of harm's way? 
Yes, that is exactly it. We have to trust God and let Him go before us to clear a path for us to meet Him. Okay, now I understand. So everyone lift your hands with us and let's worship.
more for who I am than what my voice can see. Faith is more than just a moment. I'm over going through the motions. Give me the real thing. It's all about to change. I'll never be the same. So you ask me to follow, and when the doubts return, you speak a better word. Such great worship. I really do love every opportunity we get to worship Jesus together. I feel like we get closer to him each time we lift our hands and give him praise for everything he gives us. Oh yes, I could not agree more. Now are you guys ready? Let's watch and see what we can do to get closer to finding Abraham today. Hey look, I think we need more land. You know what, Abraham? I think you're right. We have way too many animals to stay here. Yes, we don't have enough grass for all of our animals to eat. So let's go in this mountaintop and see where we can go. Lot, if you choose to go left, I will go right. But if you choose to go right, I will go left. I think I'm gonna go left over there in the Jordan. I like that river. I'm gonna go find a city and I'm gonna settle there with my family. Okay, Lot, while you go left, I will go right. Be safe and make sure you find a safe place to stay. Yes, sir, I will. I'll see you again when and if God puts us back together. Justin, do you see this? Lot is in a city with evil people. I really hope God will help him. Wow, let's continue watching to see what happens next. God, I am a good man who loves you and I know I've made a foolish decision by living here. Please protect me and my family. Lot, we have to go now. God is sending fire down from heaven on these cities to destroy them because no one lives for him here but your family. Yes, Lot. We are telling you to leave all of your belongings and everything you own. Now grab your family and go before it's too late. Who are they? They are the angels from the Lord. We, we don't, don't believe you. Turn from your wicked ways and follow God or our city will be destroyed. Open the door. We want to destroy you. Wow, these people are really mean and mad. But God loves Lot so much that he is sending angels to protect him. Let's see what happens next. Lord, 
please spare my nephew's life. From the judgment you are sending to the city that his family live in, he needs your protection. Right here in this moment, everyone, we can see that God hears our prayers. Because before Abraham even prayed, God was already at work by sending two angels to help Lot and his family. Yes, we can truly understand now that we should trust God in every area of our life. Let's continue to see where God opens the door for us to meet Lot to find Abraham. It's time, time to go. go. Grab, Grab your family and move out fast. Don't stop and run as fast as you can. Don't turn around and don't look back. Right here we can see that God shows mercy and cares for the people who love him. God waited to cast judgment on the city until after Law and his family. Lord, thank you for sparing me and my family's life. Oh, I'm so grateful. Justin, look, it's safe to go. Let's go. Lot, I am so glad you are safe. This is my partner, Justin. And we are here with our Kittown Nation family on an adventure to find your uncle, Abraham. Can you help us? Yes, I can help, but we must go this way. Yes, thank you, Lot. You are a miracle from God himself. God can always be trusted. Let's see if you can spot the difference in today's game. There are eight different things from pictures one that are different in picture two. Good job everyone. Let us know in the comment section below if you found all eight. Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm 10 years old. Natalie lights a spark when she walks into Kittown every Sunday. She is always eager to learn more about God and is a very smart and talented young girl. It would say, hi, Natalie, what's up? My family, my family makes a great day. Ella from Ella's Diaries. Because she goes on these cool adventures with her friends, Zoe. Every time she and her friends take out something spectacular, her ex-friend, Peach Parker, always has to mess it up which makes it a very good book of adventure always happening one after another. I'm being homeschooled this year. 
Esther say to people? When Esther told her people were gonna be in danger to the king, he made sure the person who planned this was stopped. Natalie lights a spark when she walks into Kid Town every Sunday. She is always eager to learn more about God and is a very smart and talented young girl. She sets an example for everyone in Kid Town. She has over 20 gold cards completed. Can you believe it? She is on fire for God. We really enjoyed learning more about you today. Yes, thank you for sharing that with us today, Natalie. I'm amazed that you have filled so many gold cards. That is awesome. Everyone, can we give Natalie a round of applause for setting an example for all of us? Great job, everyone. In closing today, we can say that our lesson had a lot to say about judgment and destruction from God. But God always showed mercy on the people who loved him like Lot and his family. After God rescued Lot and his family, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were punished for their sinning lifestyle. Our big idea for today's lesson says that God will punish sin but will show mercy to those who love him. Also, our power verse for today is found in Romans chapter 6 verse 23. And it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. We hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great week. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you all enjoyed our show, Kid Town Nation. After all, we are the nation of Kid Town. Today's Kid in the Spotlight was awesome, and I can't wait to see who next week's Kid in the Spotlight will be. So tune in next week to find out. Do something like, oh my baby girl. Oh my baby girl, I love her so much.